Hey guys, uh, my name's Mick, and this is my 1974 Ford XB Continental Coupe, which um, Mark done the body and um, paint work on it. I done all the uh, rust repairs and had it on the rotisserie, got it sandblasted, two pack epoxy, and um, yeah, three years later, it's on the road. So uh, thanks to Mark, um, this is it, finally driving it. So uh, give us a quick little rundown. So um, after it got painted, uh, you took it back and you pretty much started fitting it up. Just give us a run through um, oh, with geez, just, yeah, where it where, started. Where do you and, start? Where do you start? You know, cause yeah, you massive try to, job. Just trying to remember where things go. Um, but the best thing I learned um, be my first roost day was to um, you take something apart, bag it and, and tag it. <laughs> yeah, so you know that's right. Label all your bags yeah, with all your screws all for um, 100%. Uh, this car come to me pretty much partially disassembled anyway, um, but every nut and bolt was sandblasted and painted um, and repaired pretty much. Um, <coughs> put new, new springs on the back of it um, to get the height right, um, so she's sitting good on the road. The motor, um, just a standard 351 with a bit of a cam. Um, what can I say? And there's still points. I didn't want to go electronic busy. Just wanted to keep it, keep it towards the originality of it all. Um, yeah, so you're actually an engine builder uh, here in Melbourne. Yes, so you've done the yeah, whole... Yeah, yeah, HMGM engines, boys, if you... There you go, guys. A bit of a plug there. <laughs> I've been there for 32 years. And and, um, and you're the head mechanic, I guess. The, no, 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 no. I'm just a cog in the wheel. No, that's, that's just... That's I am, just a small cog in the wheel. <laughs> that's just that's me wanking yeah, it up yeah, a bit. That's <laughs> a small cog in the wheel. Yeah, well, you, look, Mick, you've done a, a wicked job. Um, now, look, I'll, I'll be honest with my viewers, um, and you already know, Mick. Now, my thoughts on that vinyl roof, I wasn't, I wasn't sure about it, you know, and everyone's got their own taste. But seeing it in person, wow, guys, like, I'm, I'm telling you, it, it, it suits the colour. Like, and this colour, guys, too, like, it is a solid orange it's called burnt orange it's a factory color factory it's a, ford color yeah it's factory original. ford color yeah. but like it just looks like a ordinary boring orange at the moment but when the sun comes out you really do see that sun part of the name come out it just it just pops it just pops just comes to life yeah i was really surprised while painting it too so yeah as you can see the vinyl roof goes over the boot um and then half of the roof all those long days sanding down that boot lid, Mick, to get oh, it nice oh, and straight, and, and then you go and put no, 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 vinyl no, no, over it. it oh, now you can't even see it. <laughs> it was killing me to get that done, but <laughs> you know what? It, look, it takes us to another level. It, it really does. does, it really does. I mean, the colour itself is the colour that it is. It just pops. Um, then you add the partial vinyl roof, and then you add the chrome. Just adds uh, up and, and then stacks you add up. The walnut glow paint outs. It just um, it makes the car what it is. 100%. Um, it really does. It's really and the chrome, like, did you get the chrome re, re, re chromed or repolished at um, Vinnie's in Dandenong? Yeah, um, and my son made these out of um 3D, 3D printing. Oh, wow, okay, um, yeah, because the original ones didn't sit too well on the on the roof. Oh, right, and I, well, I broke one, didn't I, trying to make it sit to the yeah. curvature of the roof? Yeah, uh, which is shit, which is how and, it goes. And I just got it chromed and everything, uh, wasted that much money, so. My son, um, we were, uh, engineering at Monash Uni, said, I could 3D print that for you, Dad. And I said, well, there you go. <laughs> so how did you get, so being that it got 3D, 3D printed using a lot of plastic, was it? Yeah, plastic. So how did they go about getting the chrome on there? Well, Is then, it... And then I just sanded it so smoothly. Then I took it to um, at uh, Vinnie's in Dandenong, and um, they put a chrome the chrome on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's heaps good. And the chrome, like, matches, like, almost perfect to, like, the bad. other... Mm. Like it's pretty, so this, so the center part, Mick, is like the actual chrome. That is the actual chrome of the car? Yes. Yeah. Yes, correct. And look at the color, guys. I'm like being a painter, like I can't pick that. Looks super good. And you painted it. 
Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not paint. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Excellent job on the paint. Uh, you know, um, I can't pick it. Um, can't floor it. Um, as in, it's it's yeah, it just so so smooth and flat. Yeah, and it hasn't really even been polished, Mick. Like it's just had a couple of like dust nibs sanded out of it. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Like, that's um, all. like you see yeah. other paint jobs, and they full get full wet sanded and polished. Yeah, this isn't wet sanded, is it? Nah, this no, is all no, all, no, all, no, all no, off the gun. gun. This is all yeah. off the gun, correct, correct. Yeah. It's just like a mirror, mirror. You know, and you look at the walnut glow. That's another colour in itself. It's yeah. Just, um, yeah. So for the people interested, so I actually done the base coat um, of the pearl over the bonnet and what the blackouts. I done yep. that and the orange are uh, all in like the beers. And I actually put, I used like the custom clear by DNA Paints over cool. over. Uh, a lot the orange and over the body. So um, this is... How many coats have that cleared? So I ended up putting three coats. I find that like two coats still looks good. Yeah. But then just putting that third extra coat on, um, it really sets it off. Like yeah. it really goes yeah. flat put, and it flows out. Yeah. And being that the custom clear is rather thin compared to um, other HS, HS clear coats, um, yeah, that third coat really... Mm. does add a little bit more product on there so but yeah so um where did you start mick so you pretty much um i handed over a lot the car you um have basically like you started on the interior yeah you sound um, sound dead all the... no no i started to um put the running gear in it like the, the, the diff in the springs that's right all the, all the um underneath um and then i uh the wiring loom we got the dash in I had the seats, all the interior of the seats, the back seat, the front seats. I had done at uh, Axiom Trimmers in Dandenong. Right. Um, Vinny, Vincent, his name is. Um, a, his passion is forge. He does a fan, done a fantastic job with the seats. He tore them straight down to, to the to the bare skeleton, you know. Um, Resprung it, fixed up all the metal bases in it, refoamed, and um, they, it's all handmade, like, you know, um, with all the piping and the correct uh, the parchment trim. Um, yeah, just putting bits and pieces here and there, and oh shit, I need to go and buy this, or I need to buy that. It's just the way it is on an engine, on, on a car rebuild. Yeah. You know, you're forever pouring money into it, but you know, if you do a lot of it yourself, um, you're going to fuck it up, but you know, you just, you, you, can, you can fix that. <laughs> you know, you can, yeah. if you don't uh, do a little bit yourself, you just spend too much money on it. Yeah. You know? Expensive process, and look, Mick, I've yeah, never yeah. actually personally done my own car. Um, I've always had the passion for doing other people's cars. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, well, I don't look. I know it's expensive just for the body it's and paint. Patience. That's it's, yeah, it's but it's to great. do full interior yeah. and. I mean, this is my first build. I've never done one before. I've always wanted to do one. Yeah. Um, this is my first. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm 57 uh, next month, and I've always wanted to do a rebuild. And oh, there you go. Um, You've I've, done it. I've done it. Um, and I'm, I'm ready to go on, on my second one. And look, there. there's another XB in the shed there, which we'll uh, have a bit of a look at uh, a little bit later in the video. So uh, if you want to see what Mick's done on that and what his plans are, then um, yeah, make sure you stay to the end of the video. So um, Hot Wise, um, very old, a lot classic wheel, Mick. Yeah, they are. They're, um, I bought them pretty much soon after I bought the vehicle because um, they were on Marketplace and this guy was selling them. You know, I need those. Um, so I picked them up um, from a guy. And, and you uh, painted them? And I cleaned them up. Yeah, yeah like you painted them, them and cleaned them up? I just had to polish them up, paint it all inside the, you know. In between the spokes? Yeah, just with a can of black paint. Yeah. <laughs> just VHD black. Um, yeah. Uh, and then just good old um, elbow grease. In, That's it. In, in trying to get the chrome polish. Uh, you know, it's, it's aluminium. But... Um, just polish up the aluminium, just one wheel at a time. <laughs> that's all. That's, that's all I have to do. Yeah, that's heaps good. So apart from that, Mick, so what other aftermarket accessories have you put on the car um, that probably you wouldn't have seen back in the seventies? So you put um, a, a stereo. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a good point. The, um, the stereo is Bluetooth. It's original. Yep, that's cool. Um, it's uh, it's it's a it's a it's one that's come out with the vehicle. It's a it's an AM, and I send it to um, Dale in Western Australia. Dale, um, he restos, um, converts those AM radios to Bluetooth, and uh, I just use my phone. Yeah, cool. Um, That's going through, an, going through an amp at the back, 
with some nice six by nine speakers. Um, it's enough sound. Yeah, hundred percent. So you've got to hear it, but I, sometimes I, I think I'd rather listen to the note of the car yeah. than listen to the radio. As I'm oh, oh, I don't blame you. <laughs> And look, uh, guys, this thing sounds so good. Like, you would have heard the start up of this. Uh, it was a cold start. First first turn of the key, Mick, and she was alive, every time, mate. Every time. Every yeah, every time. that's heaps yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Got new rubbers, obviously, the rubber kit you get from um, Rare Spares. Rare Spares, yeah. Um, I used my original rubber at the back because apparently I'm hearing Rare Spares rubbers are too thick and they, they really don't make the windows sit too flat. Yeah, okay. Um, where they're supposed to sit, so... And luckily, my original rubber was still um, usable. Yeah, that's so, heaps good. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess that, like, saves, like, a bit of money on, like, the final cost of the car, too. If you can reuse oh, or refurbish re yeah, or something like that, you know. What you can refurbish, by all means. And, um, you know, if you can't do it, then you've got to give it to someone else to do it. And that's where the cost yeah, becomes a bit. Stacks up. Bit, yeah, it starts stacking up. Yeah, but, uh, luckily... Um, I like to uh, tinker with um, nuts and bolts and, you know, and give it a go. If you don't give it a go, you don't know. So exactly you right. You don't learn nothing. Yeah. yeah. And it's one of those things too, like you see these people when they get cars built by other people and they don't even, like, touch a spanner. Yeah. And then when something happens, they're like, oh, God, like, what do I do, you know? So it's, it's, it's a journey. It's, the process is a journey and you get a lot more satisfaction. But, you know, I've done this myself. And, exactly. Um, you know, I've got a lot of help from obviously Mark, who, you know, I'm no good at bodies um, or paint for sure. So, you know, those parts, you've got to give it to the expert. Yeah. The trim, yep. I can't retrim that. Nah. But, um, you know, what you, can do, <laughs> what you can do, you try and do. Yeah. You know? um, the dash, I've redone the dash myself. Um, cleaned all that up, done the wiring. Did it to the, the wiring loom was in pretty good nick. Just, um, so you used the original loom? The original loom has been used, yeah. Um, yep. I just had to replace a couple of pieces that need to replace them. Um, yeah, cool. Just splice them in using the right colour codes. Um, and I have no electrical issues at all. Yeah, that's heaps good. Um, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, cool. So uh, you've used all the badges now. I remember there was holes somewhere and you were like, and this is going back a while, Mick. Um, yeah. you, you were. Who'd, you weren't sure where, where yeah. the badges were yeah, or yeah. like where I they were meant to go. Yeah, sorry, I certainly didn't want to go punching holes through here. Yeah. So I just used double sided tape. Yeah. <laughs> hey, whatever. <laughs> <And it laughs> whatever works. gets the job done, mate. <laughs> I wasn't going to start punching holes into a, a bone of roof that I just got fitted. Yeah, and exactly. Find out the fucking holes in the wrong spot, you know. Yeah. And the badges don't fit, so. And the good thing with double sided tape is like you can always take it off and exactly. refit it, or yeah, 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 it's not going to leave a mark on the vinyl either, That's which true. is good. So, so where did the vinyl actually get done, Mick? It was done here. Um, uh, I think his name was Craig, up in Packenham. Um, yeah, he's been doing the vinyl. Oh, since a, yeah, since he's an apprentice. Um, but now it's a tree lopper. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so other end of the scale. I don't know how I got onto him, but I got onto him, and um, he came out and he fitted it up. So, yeah. is it just like pulled over? Is it? Have they used some form of like adhesive oh, spray adhesive. or yeah, 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 yeah okay, yeah, 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 yeah. and they just use like a roller yeah. to get the bubbles out yeah, or something yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah right so I've he, never he, seen he, it he pre cuts it and he, this is all stitched in the middle along here both sides yeah and um, he done it here and he, 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 obviously we do the trimming later um, but he gets a rough sort of shape of it and laying it on yeah yeah I'll, I'll tell you what it's an art in itself I think. Yeah, I think so. Same with like um, all like the insides, yeah. upholstery and stuff. There's uh, there's definitely an art art there to do it. Hundred yeah. percent. You know, if they shit up, if they, if they you know turn the shit, but I just thought I'd just go stand the points. And does that um, obviously that affects like um, spark yeah. Um, yeah. and Ele electronic ignition? Electronic yeah. is the way to go if yep. you want the performance and you know the spark increase and all that. Right. Um, but uh, I'll, yeah, I'm not after. I guess the, um, the horsepower. All the response, yeah, yeah, yeah out of it. Yeah, all the response. Just, I, it's a cruiser. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's all I was after. Yeah, cool. So those uh, compliance plates on the firewall there, Mick, they look uh, pretty new. Uh, did you do anything with them, or like to you, you just paint stripped them, no, or no, just polish them up? Just polish them up. Just with that, um, what is that polish? These for aluminium. Uh, polish. 
Oh, is it that black, some yeah. purple or something? Yeah, yeah, purple yeah. knight yeah. or something? Yeah, something yeah. like that. Black, yeah. black wizard. Yeah, I can't remember. You just, you just, yeah, just keep a bit section at a time and they come up right new. Yeah, it looks heaps good. It looks really nice. So, brand new wiper motor, Mick, up there? Or is that the standard wiper motor? Um, that's the uh, that's the original one. I just cleaned it up. Yeah, cool. Give it a coat of paint. Yeah, cool. The pump itself doesn't work. Right. Um, but I've got the aftermarket bottle in there with the Oh, yeah, I see that pump. down there. Yeah. So, what's that there, Mick? Uh, heater. That's a, something to do with the heater? Yeah, that's just a heater. Heater switch. Oh, yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, yeah. This doesn't have aircon. Um, <laughs> that's what the windows are. That's what the windows for. are for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's been a while since I've been around old school uh, engines. I say old school, but like you know, um, old like carbide motors. Had a few like three oh eights and two five threes back in the day, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah. yeah it's nothing. All, it's all. Uh, it's all five point seven and six point two liters. Now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Everything's all yeah. either turbocharged or supercharged these days. Barras or boss motors. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's heaps good. Yeah, this is a, this is a uh, an anchor, of the old Clevos. Yeah, you can get alloy heads for them now and and all that kind of stuff. And they still got the original inlet manifold. Yeah, cool. A ton itself. Yeah, I can imagine. But, um, look, I thought I just wanted to keep it all back to standard. Yeah, cool. So, as a educated guess, Mick, what kind of power do you think the motors making? Oh, we'd be lucky to get three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> kilowatts <laughs> if that yeah, yeah okay I won't get that at all no no way below that yeah yeah they didn't pull much back in the days yeah um not not much at all um so what around around that 200 kilowatt 180 yeah, yeah, lot kilowatts two, something two, like two, that two, 250 kilowatts uh, I'm, I'm i'm a horsepower man but yeah yeah um it's not much at all yeah so yeah. just under what yeah, yeah. 300 horsepower if that, yeah. yeah it wouldn't be much as long as it looks good mick that's all that matters hey yeah that's what I reckon too. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty guys, so we're in the XB Coupe, going for a cruise. Got Mick here driving. Um, this car is just so good, like, so good. It drives really nice, doesn't it? Comfy too. It's smooth, yeah. Very smooth. The seats are great. And it keeps nice and cool, Mick, when you drive it. The engine is cool. The engine is doesn't get over yeah, I've driven on a hot day, 26 degrees. Yeah. In traffic and it just stayed where it stayed. It's yeah, cool. Just um, on quarter. Yeah, that's good. So it's a good size three core radiator, copper. Um, and uh just a standard fan that came out from the factory. Yeah, cool. And she keeps its um, yeah, it keeps the temperature really good. Seems good. It's nothing worse than um, yeah, building the oh, car and motor and, and stuff. Yeah. And these, these, just... these are terrible on on temp back in the early days. <clears throat> they never held their temp really good. Yeah, okay. But the radiator that they make now is yeah, it's pretty cool, but bigger, bigger in the fins as well. Right. Like, yeah. Tubes. No thermo fans, just a standard flexi fan, seven blade. Yep. Got a tractor in. Yeah. So, who done the exhaust on it? Ah, uh, this might have been the Thomastown area. Yeah. They, they do a kit resembling the factory, how it come out of the factory. Right, okay. So it comes in pieces, you get the muffler and all that and the, the pipes. Right. And you fit it yourself. So right, okay. And I fitted it myself. Yeah, cool. It was, um, I don't have a hoist, but you know. You got the like, actual stands and the jack? Yeah, yeah, do it underneath. But it, will, it was no drama, it would fit it up alright. So it's a. Uh, same exhaust that they had back, back in the day. Back in the days, yeah.
needed to get a good quarter mile time in something of this size, oh, you'd yeah. have to have oh, some serious yeah. power. Like. Yeah, 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 serious power, but it's a heavy car. Yeah. They're only good for a straight line, that's about it, but doing corners and shit, they're hopeless. Alrighty guys, so as you know, uh, Mick's done uh, the coupe, um, he's actually got a, a four door, uh, do you want to give us a bit of a run down Mick? Yeah, this, um, this is my first buy, um, about three years ago, four years ago, it come up, a friend of mine, he regrets telling me about it because he would have loved to <laughs> take the purchase himself, yeah, um, yeah GS Ford, um, which I'll um, probably end up doing as a, um, a tribute car, like a mock up GT 351 um, <clears throat> and it's 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 probably better in better condition than the coupe right um, so I've just finally taken all the gear out of it and um, the rust in it is rust as they all are um, it's got a sunroof in it so I'm, I'm wrapped about that uh, the floor floor pans are really good so it's nice and solid inside the floors it's gonna, it's gonna have the GS dash um, Need some work, don't get me wrong. It oh, what they work. all do. They all need work, but this is how the coupe was when I first got the coupe. Yeah. Um, but I think this is in better condition. But we'll soon know. I'm going to. Um, better condition, rust, rot, rust, uh, rust, rust, rust wise, wise Mick? Yes, yeah. yeah. So um, you're going to get it like sandblasted, correct, same yes. same kind of process yeah, as the I'm coupe? Using the same process. I've got it on the rotisserie. Um, I'm going to get the dip out, which I have already. I've just got to get the front suspension out. I've got to get the dash out. That's all got to come out. And it's going um, to blast off. Um, Heard of that? Yeah, to where I got the other one done. Um, yeah. Where they blast the whole lot. Yeah, they're good at what they do, both um, underneath and, and or inside the whole lot. And they put, they'll put it in two pack epoxy. Cool. Where it can just sit there, and I will just start one section at a time. Yeah. So you're going to do the repairs on it, Mick? Like I'm brush, going to do, I'm brush going to do repairs? All the brush repairs. Um, the doors are in excellent condition. Yeah, they yeah, they're, look they're, good. There's no rust in the doors. It's just the only rust I can see is... Yeah, just there, on that corner you know, there, there, on the corner. The doors are, are really scored on this one. Um, the plenums, where they always rust behind this guard down there. Yeah. Um, they're in good nick too. They're solid. So it's a solid car. Um, the, only, the only rust that there is that I need to replace is this whole back section. Yeah, right. And... Um, that they uh, better than Nosh, Peter Alexander, in Seaford. Um, it was on the Facebook page there. Better than Nos. Um, he better than those. Nos. Better than Nos. Yeah, he, he presses these out. He makes these himself. Yeah, right. Um, That's good to know for you guys. Fantastic, fantastic person. Um, he, he does them. So I've just got, that's the only big section I've got to replace. You know, apart from the usual along here and along the window, that's just that's not much. That's not hard to do. Have you had the guards off, Mick, and had a look at the structural yeah, parts yeah, of the car? I mean, yeah, in the plenum, yeah, they're yeah. solid, they're good. Yeah, they're, cool. The guards have been off. Um, I had a good look under there, they're in good nick. Uh, so that boot's been... Um, yeah, that boot came with the car, and looks like it's in... Look, it's been... <laughs> it looks like it's no in it. some kind of primer. It looks yeah. like it's got a guide code yeah. on it. So that's in good nick. There's no rust in that boot, so I'm very fortunate about that. Yeah, that's good as. Mm. Mm. So that's actually a different shape boot mick to the coupe. Correct, it is different. Yeah, totally different. different. I, I just noticed the body line yeah, and yeah. the shape, the concave there, it's yeah, totally oh. different. Yeah. Is that because it's a four door mick or yeah. is that? It's a four door. Yeah. The other one's a two door and therefore, yeah. Um, I don't know what the lengths are. They're the same or different with the main. I think they would be the same. Yeah. You know, I'm not the, sure. The yeah. And all that. <laughs> I, I reckon they'd be the same. Yeah. I mean, look, it does look almost the same length, like chassis yeah, length, doesn't yeah. it? Like, it does look similar. Mm. The, the, the bolt up of the rotisserie is in the same spots. Yeah, okay. They, they, they stay the same. But they're pretty much identical. Yeah. The front ends are identical, really. V8s, the six lawns are different. A bit more bracing in the V8s. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Which is pretty common back in the day, too. Yeah. Like, they used to... Yeah. Have, have like disc brake rear. Are they still disc brake rear or are they drums in the rear? Uh, the XBs were the first to come out with um, disc brake rears. Right, okay. The XAs had the... Um, had the drums. Drums at the rear. Um, but the XBs were the first to put um, four-wheel disc um, on their GTs and GS models. Yeah, which is the V8 versions, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. that's right, that's right. 
Yeah, that's heaps good. So, um, so you're going to do all the rush repairs, Mick, um, and then you're going to take it somewhere to get the body work done. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. I'll. Um, yeah. I'm. Not, I'm. Yeah. Exactly right. I'm going to find someone that's um, willing to. Um, it's a. It's a pretty straight car as it is. It's, it's, it's in very good nick. Um, but I've got to get someone to, to um, do the body work. Once I do the rust repairs that I can do, um, um, I can do that. Um, and I'll find someone to do the, the body work. Yeah, that's so good. Uh, I've got to find a good painter. <laughs> uh, they're hard to come by nowadays, so. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, this is your one. <laughs> yeah. oh, I look forward to it. Always keen. Always keen. Yeah, no, it looks really good, Mick. Um, yeah, a little bit of rust around that roof too, around the the um yeah, the sunroof. Yeah, the that that's that's pretty serious. So uh, whether I attack that myself or give it to someone who's a bit, you know, I'll um, I'll see. I'll um, I'll see when I get it back. Because after sandblasting, that's when you <laughs> see that, see, you see see what's what left of it. Exactly right. <laughs> I don't know what I've got until I get it back. So. And that's all part of the fun, isn't it, Mick? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all yeah. part of the fun. True that. True. True. So it's um, it's good to see that it's in like factory paint too. Like you see yeah. some, and they've been like just botched up, and yeah. I might. I don't. I'm not the yellow fan. I might go the um red pepper. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's a metallic, is it, or is it a solid no, color a sol as well? It's a solid, solid color. Solid color. Solid yeah. Base color. And you're going to do like the different colours down the bottom as well? Like keep it like the two tone, or are you going to yeah. go yeah, yeah, just yeah. No, one colour? Go, go with the, um, the GT look. Yep, cool. Yeah, yeah. Go with the GT look, for sure. It's, uh, it was good fun masking off um, like yeah, the coupe. I saw you do that, yeah. Yeah, it was good right. fun doing that. <laughs> very uh, time consuming, but. Um, very, very. Yeah, it well, pays you've had off. experience now, so you'll um, get to do it again. Exactly right. Yeah, no, it does look really clean, Mink. It is. It's a little good. bit of service rust along the seams, that's I mean, but that's expected, no, being that's, that's that it's, it's never been seam sealed. Ooh. Yeah. But, yeah, apart from that, guys, it looks, um, yeah, really clean. Not too much rust. But, yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, this side, this, all the doors are solid. Down the bottom, they're all solid. You know, very little rust, very little rust. That's another bit of major rust sitting there. Yeah. Which is okay, I've got a piece of that already. I wonder if that's yeah. caused from those, I oh, don't know, didn't have the moulds on it, the no, pins aren't on no, it. No, 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 the guy did say he had it sitting ah. in his backyard. Right. For, for years, and that's the grass hopefully grows, and it just, yeah, unfortunately. Looks like there's a bit of rust inside, yeah. inside common. there. Yep, that's is that common. common yeah, all in that's there? common rust in here, always. They always rust in here. They'll always rust along here. Right. I'll always rush along here. Oh, yeah, down there. A bit of bog yeah. in there too, Mick. Yeah, but Jamie at Custom Garage in Bayswater, he makes those. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And I changed them on my XP coupe. Oh, did you? Yep. Oh, that's right. I remember yeah, that now, yeah. yeah. So Jamie makes those. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty decent body. Like, you see some out there, and they're just riddled with rust, eh? Mm. Like, super, mm. like, super True. bad. But, um, yeah, this looks really good. And you've had this for a while, Mick, yeah? Yeah, four years. Four years, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, you did take some parts off this to finish the coupe, yeah? Some some parts, no? No, no, no I didn't want to no. do that. I didn't, oh, I, oh, oh that's right. Yeah, yeah, I remember you said something about yeah, it. No, yeah, no, I didn't want to um, dive into this thing to fix that. No, no, because then I'll be chasing your tail. So. Chasing your tail yeah, for, yeah, for this one. This as it was, with, um, you know, using it as a donor. It wasn't for a donor at all. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Oh, there you go, guys. There's a bit of a look. Um at the four door uh xb um no doubt there'll be more content on the channel on this one when mick um it gets all the body done and all the rest of it yeah. but yeah oh good guys